Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother, is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 31 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed the cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Black Onibaka. And we are getting into some XCOM Chimera Squad. Now, if anybody knows me, I love XCOM games. And when this announced, just the sure fanboy in me was like, you know, we got to play this game. But as I read more about it, it was more difficult to digest because they did away with a lot of things. Uh, dealing with mainly the dark grim world now it's a very enlightened world and it just makes things a little bit more difficult as well as the timeline and the role i mean you guys will be able to see it but let's get right into it i set up my breach characters um guy with the shields going in first as always stay behind me I can't shoot him. Should I shoot? No. Let's go with him. Go with the right side. Left left side. <laughs> Ooh, nice shot. She's gonna go with the sh yep. Shotgun him. And then she's clear. Ooh, I'm loving the breach. Hello. The breach. I am Mayor it is fun. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's nope. just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, blah, blah. History. Focus. All right. So it seems like it is, I want to say, five years after, or sorry, one year after the events of, um, well, XCOMs 2. But let's get right on this agent, take their turn. Yep. I understand the whole timeline thing. All right. Since he has a shield, let's get right into it. He's going to be up, our up in front person. Oh no, we're going to overwatch both of these guys. I don't even know why. We're just, we're just going to do it. Liquidating. Really? I was expecting him to, oh, really? I was expecting. I guess that was kind of pointless. Moving. I was expecting Overwatch to trigger on a fire. Maybe I've been playing way too much Phoenix Point. All right, next person. He's number two in line. That's number five. Number two is this guy. So we're gonna take a pop shot at him, 77%. With a shotty. Oh, one shot. He's done. Oh no, we're just gonna go right into the open. I love the tactical movements. Animations for moving. Ooh, the SMG. Got him. You see this? Huh. Interesting. Oh, looks like we got some more people. Contact. All right. So. Clear. Yeah. Interesting. <sighs> what Virgil. Took so long? What took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. 
Don't ever change. Ah, because he's a psychic. Good. Ah, I got it because Any he always knows. <laughs> yes, I can feel them. So between encounters, if an agent takes major damage, they will heal back up to full HP. That's super weird. That's really weird, not gonna lie. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different, okay, so you can do different breach points. That's a little weird that it takes the strategy out of it, I guess. Ugh, ugh. Anyway, so as you can tell, uh, this is gonna be the first door, door one. As you can tell that the game is sort of a mixture of uh, humans and aliens. The world now is a mixture of humans and aliens. So this is sort of, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just, I just want to play the game. It's go time. So the breach here, nice. So these are the first since I set them first was the best idea dang he's still up nope you're supposed to take him out girl what a 77 percent miss get the fuck out of here oh my gosh well as long as he's suppressed i guess we'll take a shot at him one shot done. Ooh, that crossfire. Nope. Thirty-three. Let's go to ninety-eight right here with the shotty to the chest. Ooh, wow, that was a bug. I can't believe we missed. I can't believe we missed. We got a graze and we missed with a 70 plus percentage. That is, that's RNG for you. All right, we're gonna take him out. 66% chance, but he's gonna fire, so. Got him, critical in the back. Target in sight. So he's going to be the next person to shoot. All right, so we have to get we have to get him. Yeah, he's the next person in line. He's the danger. It's like it attacks an enemy mind mind making them to go berserk and, and Okay, that's that's what's up. But let's get him. So he's straight psychic. Get this 60% chance. It actually looks like both of them. Now, he, since he's the next in rotation, I'm going to try and take him out. Got him through the wall. All right, we're going to come up on him with the shield. I'm going to bash his face in. Charge bash. Let's actually see what this is. Boom! Unconscious. And then she is gonna take a pop shot. Woo! I'm loving, I'm loving the graphics. I'm loving the animations. They're very smooth, but a little glitchy, as you can see. She Set took up a the shot and a bullet. She took a shot I to the like left to and the an bullets entrance. went to the right. It's not how guns work. Some breach points can only be accessed. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so in a sense is what they're saying is that some breach points can only be accessed by certain characters due to the fact of those characters have certain abilities. All right, we're definitely gonna go with, boom. Virgil is the last, actually, how much points? Yeah, Virgil's last because he has the least amount of points. Wait, hold. Nope. Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. 3-1 PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit, it is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It's 
doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now it's up to us to light the weak? spark. He's what? holding a detonator. Well, I guess because no, no. now that I guess Making they're prejudiced. I guess they're prejudiced towards the the aliens and everything. Pop shot. Ooh, nice shot. I love the freeze animations of once you kill them or once you shoot them. Boom. Let's see. Let's go with a 50. Yeah, let's go with the 57. Ooh, you missed, baby girl. Let's go with the 65%. Hopefully, you can do better. Oh, and she does. Well, he does. You're a nightingale. I'll protect you. I love the freeze animations of once they die and the transition between characters. Oh, now. Terminal, stabilize him. On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Agents who lose their HP over time. Mission will fail. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I was a little bit worried about this game because they're going with a different mechanic. Uh, they actually have essential characters now, so it's definitely kind of hard to fail due to the fact of them having essential characters. Essential characters mean once they die, the game is over, which XCOM's ooh, shotgun up close and personal. Not very known for XCOM's to do that. As well as there's another game that's coming out with Gears Tactics is going to try and use the same mechanic and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well they adapt to it all right he's next no actually no he's going to be number three where can she move at she can't move anywhere do an overwatch over here yeah i got a feeling he's going to move my overwatch and for you let's take a pop shot at him Oh, instant death. Boom! Saw that coming. Alright, his overwatch is enabled. Where is his overwatch located at? Alright. We're gonna get Miss Shotgun Missy over here. We're gonna get Miss Missy Elliot. Changing position. Steady pace. Shotgun to the back, flanked. Oh, they still got those XCOM 2 jumps. <laughs> Death animations. <laughs> right? Just flop yeah, up in the air. Those medicates are really something. Compliment accepted. What about Cherub? Yeah, uh, I think so. The only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. He's still and laid out over there in the corner. Just look at him. He is a limp as fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful, of course. Priceless. But these people don't have the capability. So as I was saying, this is a lot more upbeat. It's not as dark. It's not as grim as the original two XComs. And it's just... It's going to be interesting to see of how this particular light-hearted world in this cluster of uh, humans and aliens living together how well this game comes out I mean it's on Steam for like 20 bucks it's not bad so it's gonna be interesting to see how well it stands up to its two ridiculously good predecessors and to see if there's tons of replay value in it because XCOMS XCOMS is known for having replay value known for having it all right, so round four completed, number of encounters. Enemies killed six. We, that was actually 16 enemies. Okay, enemies captured. Civilians rescued. Civilian casualties. All right, rating good. From one captured enemy, there's a chance to earn 20 intel. Ah, so since we are police officers, technically, Technically, we can capture him and gain Package intel delivered. and interrogate him. That's actually what's up. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... <laughs> it's bad luck. Goddamn.
I just had to show the loading screen for this. The loading screen is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That that is that transition is pretty boss. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain. So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote. Ah, so they're blaming us already. The That's Without interesting. Her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly. Yeah, we um, we lost our uh, yeah person. Stop. Be upset. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready tonight. You surpassed my expectations. How do we surpass your expectations? PD Please tell me. requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. I don't see how that could, but hey, whatever, you know, you got to progress the story somehow. All right, so let's go to the city map. Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry. So this city was actually functional during the very whole process oh yeah because the advent odds, of rising and the everything there they actually no had infrastructure attacks. there until tonight you know, tad bits we are starting to come that. back from xcoms i'm thinking it's xcoms out. one where we were pretty much getting obliterated as well as i'm mixing stuff in with phoenix today. point because it's kind of the same world i wouldn't say the same world but things are very similar map access targets come air squad all right let's actually take a look at our squad no oh, okay we can't take a look at the squad just yet okay send ac apc or not there we go that was weird another weird bug so progress the day We've done what we can to a 31 PD commissioner. All right. Your work with 31 PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. Did you see the gear that they had? What are you talking about? They didn't have to access kind of to ordinance. All right, so we can actually Choose to investigate our people. All right. A loose network of human psychics. Their vision of the city 31 future is entirely psychic, whether the city wants it or not. All right. An organization of alien scavengers that have quietly amidst the kind of weaponry reclaim is mandatory to recover. An underground religious movement or hybrids that preach salvation but only to those who bought XCOM. So this is more of religious based, this is more of an extract extremeness, and this is more of a weapons dealer. Um you wanna know we're gonna go with the most logical solution here, which would be the weapons dealer, due to the fact that it was a plasma bomb. Uh the size, the psychic humans don't really make any sense, as well as the religion could go that way, but we're gonna go with the Gray Phoenix. Gray Phoenix is a group of primarily muton scavengers operating in the city. Recently, they've armed themselves with highly restricted weaponry. 
That puts them on our radar. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links <gasps> to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Indeed. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork, operations, and takedown. All right, pretty straightforward. We need to know more about Grey Phoenix before we can proceed with our investigation. Fair enough. Ah, they still got the dark events. That's actually really nice. I'm, uh, I'm a little excited that they actually uh, transitioned over because dark events were actually pretty fun. Uh, sort of a race against time sense. All right, let's take a look at everything here. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. So it looks like they did bring back the whole uh, thing of actually building and it takes time to build and projects and so forth and so forth and you have to research them and then you have to make them and get the schematics and all that so it looks like they did bring that back which is actually pretty nice pretty nice emeralds is one of the three reclaimed resources reclamation oh I can't even, I, I don't know why I keep saying reclaim. I mean, because it technically is in there, but it's not a reclamation requirements. It is spent to complete projects in the assembly. All right, let's begin this. Android personnel. Construct the Android Ops Hub. This network allows you to use Androids on tactical mission and enable new projects. All right, let's go with that. That's technically the only thing that we have. Let's check out the roster of people. Hmm. The armory is where you manage your agents, your loadout, gain abilities, aliens, or agent biography, and agent armor. The director convinced the city council we're too understaffed. Oh, we get one person right off the bat. This means we can bring more agents All right. to City 31. Take a look at it's this. We got torque, mobility, something. And looks like technically torque is the best option. We got a psychic over here uh, that can actually do relocation, which is actually really nice. You have another sort of tech, and then you have a snake, which the snakes in XCOMs with the mods. Oh my god, they were like one of the most feared characters in there. Oh, it was it was so bad. I hope that the modding community actually picks this game torque. up. Whisper. Are we good? Yes, and no, on bad terms. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. I wish no, we aren't good. Why would she say well, get a lobotomy? He wouldn't be physically here if he got that. Anyway, as I was saying, I hope the uh, modding community actually picks this up because without the modding community, XCOMs is not as good as the game. I mean, no offense. But let's get the. Let's check out the. The blue actually looks nice. Taking the red or the blue? Let's go with the blue. Let's check out with you. Yep, look at that. We look like straight up gangster officers. Well, no, let's let's see with the green. Ugh, see the pants change. Ugh, no. We go with we can go with the golden purple for Kobe. For Kobe, rest in peace. You wanna know what? Let's rock the gold and the purple. The gold and the purple for Kobe. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. Our temporary field office has all the basics. Where XCOM supplies is where you buy all ammunition. of your items and equipment. Supplies where we request or everything else. Permanent. As long as it's in the squad's here, budget, too. it's ours. Yeah. All right. Credits are one of the three requirements that are spent on supplies to buy both. Okay. You can get a sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. Auto key card. 
grants breach access through a security door. Auto key card uses a brute force action to push through the secure. Okay. Got med kits, which is actually really nice. Rank rounds and tracer rounds. What? Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Getting a little fancy. All right. All right. That's just that. All right, guys. This is going to conclude the first episode. I'm hoping that you're liking this because I'm going to continue to play this game just to see where it's at because I love RTS and I love RNG with, within RTS games. But as always, guys, you know, hit that like button, like, subscribe, follow, do everything that every other YouTuber tells you to do. You know, if you want to see more, stay tuned. But until next time, deuces.